welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I am Jessie. Thank you so much for watching today. Today's video is part of an open collaboration with Home Sweet Homes channel. Her name is Sarah. Thank you, Sarah, so much for letting me be part of this open collaboration. I really appreciate it. So today's recipe, I'm going to be making creamy Italian crock pot chicken. And guys, this recipe is so delicious. I'm going to show you in just one second what the recipe is, but before I do, I wanna let you know that it is Cracktober. So this collaboration, every Saturday for the rest of October, I will be posting a new Crock-Pot recipe on my channel. So make sure that you're subscribed so that way you don't miss out, guys. All right, let's get into that recipe. You're gonna wanna want chicken thighs. I always buy my chicken thighs in bulk and then I separate them into four or five pieces into a bag and then I freeze it. And then it's um, it's just so much more budget friendly to do it that way because you can buy it on sale. You're also gonna want a uh, slow cooker liner. If you don't have one of those, that's completely fine. You could always spray your uh, crock pot with a canola oil spray or any kind of like cooking spray. And then you're gonna want one can of cream of chicken soup and one can of cream of mushroom soup you're gonna want cream cheese, and then you're gonna want the zesty Italian like seasoning packet. You can find these in the salad dressing aisle at your store. I got all of the ingredients in the crock pot. We're gonna go ahead and throw the lid on and then plug it in. 
If you are wondering what that is, that is a pizzazz. We've had that for like seven, eight years now. It is well loved and it's lasted a long time. It's kind of like an air fryer. It's really good for making like frozen pizzas on. If you like throw onion rings, mozzarella sticks, any of that kind of stuff that you deep fry on there, it crisps it up perfectly. So then we're gonna turn the power on and we're going to set it for low eight. And then when it's about halfway through, I'll check on it and I'll probably pull those pieces of chicken apart because they're frozen together right now and make sure they're laid all throughout the bottom so they're getting cooked evenly. So we'll show you when it's done. If you guys wanted to make this recipe healthier, you could use the reduced fat cream cheese or you guys could even use the Healthy Request Campbell's soups. I think that Great Value also has the Healthy Request version of that, so that would be a way to get this dish lower calorie if that's something you're looking for. One thing I forgot to mention is I usually use the cream chicken and herb soup, but lately because of the pandemic, I haven't been able to find that one. So I just use the regular cream of chicken soup. It won't make the recipe any different. You could even use a uh, cream of celery soup too, instead of the cream of mushroom if you want. Just some extra ideas for you guys. Like I said, when it's like been cooking for most of the day, you want to make sure you spread the chicken out. Ooh, it's already shredding, look at that. It's really good. And that way you're gonna make sure that I'll get cooked all the way through. The side to go with the creamy Italian chicken tonight, we're gonna do the great value white rice, the instant. So that is one, uh, one cup water to one cup rice ratio. I usually put chicken stock in my rice if I'm making rice for a lot of my recipes. But for this one, I don't because there's so much salt in the creamy Italian chicken that you don't need that. So I'm just gonna do the water to the rice and that'll be the side. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and shred this. Use forks to shred it or you could use a handheld mixer. If you just wanna leave it in chunks and put that over the rice, you could do that too. guys there it is all shredded up looking super delicious it smells amazing you guys could also use like chicken breasts or even pork chops in this recipe turns out really good too guys look how fluffy this rice turned out guys here is a plated dish it smells so good we've got the rice and then i put the creamy italian chicken over the top you could even do this with noodles you don't have to necessarily do it with rice we just like to and then I really wanted a vegetable for the side, so I did asparagus. I think peas would be really good with this too, if you like peas. Or you could just leave the vegetable off if you don't want vegetables, but it looks delicious. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you guys really try this recipe, guys. It is so good. I've been making it for my family for a few years now, and we really enjoy this one. Also, every Saturday for the rest of October, I will be posting a crock pot recipe as part of this open collaboration for Crocktober. So make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and you click that notification bell button so that way you're notified every time I post a new video on my channel. And also make sure you like this video and we will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye guys.